Hi, my name is Renelle Roth and I'm a functional consultant at Magnetism Solutions. Microsoft released Wave 2 and with that came a wave of changes visible in Dynamics 365. And I've got a handy tip for you on one of those changes. So if you look at a record within Dynamics 365 and here I've got a custom referral record that I created, you'll now see that the header is a little bit different. So in my header I added the name and owner field and you'll see that you actually can't edit those fields anymore. So if I wanted to change the name for my referral from referral 001, I actually have to now look at the new feature, the header flyout option to access that field and now I can change it to ABC. I can also change the owner and whatever other fields are available in the header. You have the option to add four fields to the header that will be visible but not editable. And then within the flyout, you can add additional fields as you need. So more than four. You have the option to edit this if you'd like. So you can go into the form editor. So I've got open here the new form editor available in Power Apps, which is pretty cool. And you'll see that if you select the header, you now have the high density header option. If you deselect high density, you can go back to the header in its old ways where you can see all the fields available and they're editable. But if you select high density, it will condense them and will make them nice and neat and make them uneditable, giving you the flyout option to go ahead and edit them as you need. You also have the option to deselect the header flyout and only have the fields visible for you in the header. Um, and if you want to edit them, add the flyout and so on. So you've got a few options with um, the headers in your Dynamics um, environment and this is my handy tip for you today on how to edit them as you need.